The views and opinions of this broadcast do not reflect the views and opinions of Armed Media, Renew Productions and its affiliates. Enjoy the show. I'm a big fish in a small pond, got my day free and my night's long. I create my own reality, who I am is fine with me. Welcome to What's the Story with Maria. My name's Maria. How's it going? Uh, all right. So tonight, so special. Last week, we had a 100th episode, which was uh, uh, just a cacophony of crazy, as we called it. We had all kinds of characters. And um, this week, I decided a lot of my cousins are also our regulars, and they couldn't be there because they, you know, they live in Boston and they had busy lives. So I decided to take the party, the show, on the road. So we are broadcasting live from uh, Boston, well, right outside Woburn. So Anthony Burley, my friend Anthony Burley, has uh, joined us. He's a Villanese. His family's a Villanese. Oh, He's from yeah. Queen. Very nice, Anthony. Ed Kutu has joined us. We yeah, already hey, buddy, we went to high school going? together. He's got plates on. Oh, on me. Oh, oh, so oh lovely. Oh, my, any of my so sisters so in the fun. audience, just get ready. And then uh, Adam Chandler has joined us. Adam Chandler did Broadway oh, Bears last night uh, or Sunday night. Amazing. Adam, I have something for you, by the way. Okay, Scotty Silver has joined us. Hi, Scotty. How are you? Wonderful person. So people will be popping in. And um, Jay Rivera, very handsome. He's been on the show several times. He's the good-looking one that sings. That's the health nut that brings the whatever. But you'll know Jay. All of them? <laughs> you know, just Jay. Jay brings all the good food. Okay, so I'm going to start with the law offices of Bergy and Bergy, as I call them. Yeah. So this is Rena Bergy. Here she is. It, it is her home and Ron Bergie, his home, and they have let us in their home. A big hand for Rena and Ron Bergie. Beautiful. Oh, my God. You're getting a nice high, honey, and she's joined. Everybody say hi, Judy. Hi, hi Judy. Judy. Wait, let me flip let flip around and show Judy who's Judy. here. Are you right. here? You love it. I know. Judy, I bought um, so busy. Oh, no. My <laughs> sister is here, Judy. Get ready. Okay. Be prepared. For Be prepared. My sister has, is here now. Okay, so we are, I want to talk to you. First of all, thank you for opening up your home once again and letting us come in. And Jimmy, our wonderful engineer. Teresa Ramonde, your friend has joined us. Oh, Hi, Teresa. Yeah. So now uh, you're both very creative people. This show is about creative people, and I always tell people, well, my whole family's creative, so there's not a non-creative person in the bunch. Um, so, Rena, you are an excellent cook, thank baker, you. and all these things, and I want to thank you because Rena always makes so many things. Today, Rena opened up her home, and we all brought food in because it didn't want Rena cooking and I'm cleaning. And she's working. Yeah. She's running a lot of us. So we wanted to <laughs> run the whole thing. Thank you. Oh, so I think the pizza might. Is the pizza here maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the pizza's arrived. Beautiful. Yeah. Let the pizza arrive. Please all right. turn all flash. cell phones That's off. Maria yeah. Filiomani has joined us. Ron Cugnali's joined us, your brother. Hey! Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Ron and uh, right. Hi, Ron and Rita says Jay Rivera. Uh, so many. Oh my God, Jean Simpson Dunn, who grew up in Stoneham, went to Stoneham High. She's out in Indiana now, Illinois. So she says hello. Okay, so Ron, if you come here during the day, now it's too bad it's dark out. You can't see your beautiful garden. But oh yeah. I, I said to Rena today, I love this house. You look out the windows, and every window pane is a picture. And she said that's Ron. Ron just he's an amazing landscaper. You are Ron. And uh, Ron, this is a vision you have. I wish it was lighter. You could see, and it's. You said that every season is different, right? Yes. And around now, the springtime every week is different. And why is that? Rena? Because it's the lilac bushes, then the wisteria, then the azaleas, then those go, and then the apple tree blooms and something else. So it's why? beautiful. <laughs> My sister is unruly already. She will be keep it down. She's gonna. Uh, who is the bouncer? We're gonna have to have it removed. All right. And Ron, what did you? We always have the screen thumb because you're exceptionally good at this. I had, you know, when I was in New York State as a little boy, I had a, gar a garden. And I started from then and I just. And you just expanded. expanded. Yeah. And do you have a vision when you create some? Do you say, I'm going to put this here and I want the purples to go with the paint? So do you just let it be what it is? I 
I have a vision, the flower bed in the back, I actually did a lot of renovation, the old people that were here, a lot of stuff growing in the yard. So I cleared it out. And the flower bed. Start from the beginning. Yeah, start from scratch and go with it. All right. Well, we uh, love Ron. Thank you, Ron. Ron is also a really funny guy. So tonight he's, you know, he's just letting the rest of us be crazy because it's his home and we appreciate it. Also, the sexiest mailman award goes oh. to Ron Burry. I brought this young lady with me from New York. Her name, since she's in Boston, her name, I think we named her Colleen. Yes. Yeah, Colleen, area. She, if, she, if she lived in Boston, she'd be from, the, from South Boston, I think, perhaps, right? So she's here. She told me to tell you, you are very sexy, and thank you so much, Ron, for being the sexiest moment. I think she has an inflated ego. Oh! What did I tell you? Everybody, Ron and Rena Bergie. The law office is a Bergie and Bergie. All right, beautiful. Thank you so much. Okay, so now, one of the things that we're going to do tonight. What? Oh, geez, Ron, these are yours? Come and show you to me. This guy's got some tomatoes. That's not a euphemism. Excellent. Fertilizer I've been using. All right, so these, Ron, you grew those yourself? All right, thank you so much. Okay, so we have so many great people tonight. Now, uh, we just got the pizza delivery, right? Am I right? Yes. I'm putting a display plate together. Okay, so Rena's putting a display plate together. But um, as you put the display plate together, I, I want, um, let me see. I think we should get my sister on immediately. Oh, God. Yes. What do you think? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Yes. Shmoo, come on, join us. Wait. Snoopy, Snoopy, and Marisa, join us because you know you guys come, oh, come on, come on, and then we'll get the millennials on the offspring. So we got going on tonight. All right, so okay, <laughs> all right. There she is, my sister Carla Schleif. Schleif, it's Schleif. Okay, I went from Carla Bianca Gentili to Carla Schleif. Well, sometimes that happens. Whatever, whatever. That sometimes that happens. All right, so she is here tonight, European Flair Salon. I did hashtag it. If you are out in the West Concord area and you want your hair done, you go see my sister. Marisa Raskowski has joined us from the very famous Christmas at the Raskowski's. Oh, that was yeah. That's Last. one of the that most fun. watched episodes ever. And uh, so uh, tonight we, uh, we want to talk about your recipe that you made. Now, Marisa's uh, mother used to make the best calamari pie. Now, to you ever. American kids, that sounds crazy. What delish, the hell delish, is delish. a calamari pie? But squid, 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 squid. pie. So um, Marisa surprised us tonight, and I think this is it right here. Hold on a second. So she made some special pies. Marisa, do you want to tell us about those, please? All right. it, does, it doesn't look good. But oh no, it looks it's delicious. It tastes. It looks delicious. So this is. It's, I'm gonna hold it up. It's to the called sp- Tiella. It's from a region of. In Italy, that my mother was from, which was on the coast. Look at that! Doesn't that so look very delicious? famous along the coast of Gaeta, and they make basically it's a calzone that's a pie, and they fill it with a variety of things. But her special and you made your own crust and everything. I made my own dough. I made my own dough. Oh, my she made a baker, own dough. So I'm making it from yeah, scratch. Yeah, so Jana was a baker, so oh, oh, from oh, scratch. Yes, this is so nice. This is really yes. special, Marie. So oh, yeah, I'm taking some home. I'm full. Yeah. I went to on Save the border. Save a piece for She's starving. I was starving. Yeah. All right. So, so but a little squid pie. Just, so oh, we have a little squid pie tonight. Or spinach. The other one is spinach. spinach. If you are a vegetarian or a vegan, vegan out there, people, there's a spinach. Do we have a vegan in the house? Organic spinach. We have one Italian vegan. Angelica, my niece, and she's going to be enjoying the delicious spinach yes. pie. All right. Well, um, Marisa, I want you to tell us, though, a little bit about the story, what happened. You, you made it. You weren't sure. This is like, the, what, the fourth incarnation? It was stressful. Very stressful. I wanted to make it nice because Maria said she loves it. Carla loves it. I challenged your girls, remember? You challenged the girls. But So she my mother was very good at this thing, this pie. And I wanted to learn how to make it, but she's no longer here. And we're like, how are we going to make it? Long story short, one day her recipe box fell. Fell oh, out of the out closet. closet, closet right? Come on. Yes. And it had the recipe. So I made it, and I brought it to my three brothers for judgment. Did you ever hear a coincidence is God's way of staying anonymous? Oh, absolutely. <clears throat> yeah. That's it. Absolutely. So there it was. Yeah. It fell out of the thing. Yeah. So I brought it to the three most judgmental, loving people that I know, my brothers. Beautiful. And, uh, you know, there was some criticism. There was some criticism. I took it in, and I thought, all right, I'm going to take that knowledge, and tonight I'm going to surprise Maria with this freaking pie. I can't believe it. And I was surprised by the freaking pie. I I can't even believe the pie. Yeah. No idea. So, So, you know, it was a little stressful. 
thick. It was muggy here today in Boston. Very oh, muggy. Yeah. Look at everybody's hair. Look at the yeah. Everybody's hair. Let's well use blocked. the anti frizz new, <laughs> new spray by Paul Mitchell. They oh, just please. released it. Okay, yes. good to know. And she's a Paul Mitchell. So, okay. Okay. Do I, I don't even remember. sell it yet. I just have samples. Oh, and my like, God. I'll keep the balls. So, I love it. Right. All right. Good, good to know. Yeah. Nice. Good good to all right. So, so finally, people so are going to... So finally, we, we made <laughs> these pies. Yeah. I wasn't feeling secure about them. My husband had some critiquing for the oh, test no. pie. But then my daughter said to me, Ma, it's family. Yeah. Who can criticize you more than family? That's yeah. the right way to them. Go. Anybody else? You'll take say? that information and you'll just improve it. You'll make it your own. So we Here brought we the pies. And how, okay, so now I was telling these these folks that Martha Stewart said that sometimes she's had to make a recipe like 80, literally 80 times, more than 80 times to get it right. And we were your focus group today. They were focus That's what group. they do. They have yeah, these, yeah. these wealthy, uh, you know, uh, food people, they are, you know, the shows provide focus groups and they try things out. You, we, you we have, have the Savino us. clan, right? We have the Savino so clan. that's it. That's the how we do it. We floor, try. Yes. And I personally, let me show this oh, one more time. My, uh, my mother and uh, Maurice's Tiana's dad's is the best sister said it was delicious. And look at that. Enjoy that. Please enjoy that. Okay. Thank you everybody. Marisa Raskowski and Carla Schlieff. Say whatever you want to say. She's got stuff to say. I, I got to get everybody on, though. Oh, all right. I'll I'll come on later. Later. Yes, you can come on. I'll oh, come on later. Yeah, Please yeah, yeah. No, I want, I'd want. like to have you guys on together. <laughs> she will say plenty. Okay. Don't you worry. She will say plenty because we're going with the food thing. We're going with the food right. net. Now, I have to bring on Cora and Rosetta. They were originally Robertis. Now they, they're married, of course, and have, uh, you know, married me. Oh, my God, I love them. I love these girls. All right. So Cora, is, uh, these two are two of my favorites. I love them. And their mom was just one of my favorite persons on the planet, or Zia Maria. Zia Maria Roberti, just the greatest. She enjoyed wrestling. I remember that. Oh, boy. She really did remember that. A lot of stories. Oh, yeah. yeah she, that was her favorite thing. Did you tell them the story about Boston? Uh, she, the go, ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. Tell know. it. So, I, I, I heard that Nicole was in a jam. <laughs> Nicole was just Cora's daughter, and Zia Maria found out that she was. Some girls were saying something. We're grabbing our heads, and Maria carrying her purse. You know the little old the Italian lady pocketbook. She put the purse down and she pulled like a full Nelson on the girl because she had been watching WWF for years of my life. The next thing you know, boom, on the car, on a hoodie car. I mean, how old was she at the time? Oh, my God. 70? 70. Yeah. 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 She yeah. put the girl in a full yeah. Nelson. Yeah. Ah, oh, she probably made a sound like, ah. Right? And then Cole was like, no. Nope. Yeah, five, five feet tall, maybe, if that. Not in a young Bruce, is 4'11". Oh and the next thing you know, Nicole was like, Nani, thank God you saved my life. I mean, imagine you're a seven-year-old. Grandma said, well, but she did. She did? She did? Now, uh, the reason I brought you guys up right after Marisa's recipe is because when the last time I was visiting at Christmas, Rosetta, you made them. I, I always loved your mother's zapoli. And if you don't know what zapoli is, uh, uh, American kids, they're, it's like what they, you would call fried dough, right. right? And you get it in those places, and it's kind of hard. It's got all that sugar. But the Italian ladies, it's like a specialty. Not all Italian ladies can make it. You have to be a special Italian lady like Zay Maria. So when I went to Chorus for Christmas, um, Rosetta came over and surprised me and made Zapoli. Mm -hmm. Rosetta, how many times did you make those Zapoli before you got it right? So I, you got your mother's recipe. Oh, my God. Thousands of times. <laughs> and who is and still up to today, I still don't think they taste like my mother's. Really? Yes. I thought they were amazing. Yeah. Who had those? Really close, close, but not like my mother's. They were good. They were good. Yeah. But, you're, yeah. but you, you see, you got very sentimental. You're emotionally yeah. attached to them. Right? Oh, yes. And like yes. Marisa was talking about, that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. When you make a, your mother's recipe, just like my sister makes my mother's bouillabaisse now Christmas Eve, nobody else can make it. That's it. You're the only one that has been able to do it. Because the rest of us won't even try it. So I think when you make your parents' recipe, and Anthony Burley, who's our friend who's listening, he had a restaurant for years, and he's an amazing uh, chef and cook, and, and he knows. It's the same thing. He had all his mom's recipes. So you carry your parents with you, 
Yeah. Uh, and, and Marisa's dad was a baker. And so I love that you make your mother's day believe. Yeah. They're deli- I think they're fantastic. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think they're all watching over us and we're doing a hell of a job. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's, right. that's it. It's all you can do. Right. Right. Yeah. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, put your hands together for Cora and Rosetta Roberti. <laughs> now, Cora Gotti and Rosetta Serino. I love these girls. My cousin sent them. Right. Love them. Thank love you. Them. Fantastic. All right, Cora still, she says she's not a hairdresser anymore, but she st- still has one client, my grandmother, right? Thank you. Listen, and we thank you. We thank you. Now, uh, did we get the pizza? Okay, Uncle Nicky, would you join us? And Nicole, Nicole, Nick and Nicole Savino, my Uncle Nicky and his beautiful daughter, Nicole. Well, I'm assuming you're named after your dad, Nicole, right? I am. Yeah. All right, so now I want to bring on this delicious... Look, if you're from Boston, there's the best pizza ever is Pizza Regina. There's just no other. There's other good pizzas, but you everyone will ask you if, like, say your kid's going to college in Boston, the first thing you say is, tell them to try Pizza Regina. People will ask me, you know, where do you, what do you recommend? And I always say, go to the North End, try Pizza Regina, and then go to Mike's Pastry or Modern Pastry and try those. So, Uncle Mickey, you grew up in the North End? Yes. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, this is my idol. Growing up, Uncle Nicky was my 100% idol. You, that's it. You were the coolest guy in town. It was no cool. Still, still is. Still right? is, right? A big oh, hand for Uncle Nicky, coolest guy in town. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Beautiful. All right. No, it's the truth. So, Uncle Nicky, you grew up in the north. Well, you, you were born in Italy. Then you came here at six, right? That's right. Okay, and, and the North End is where you grew up, and you went to, where'd you go to school? You went to uh, uh, St. Anthony School. St. Anthony uh, School. Uh, great school, yeah. And w- tell us about the, the North End pizza. Um, it, it's very good North End pizza. Uh, matter of fact, when I was a kid, um, we'd get a small cheese pizza. It cost us 50 cents. For the whole pizza? Yeah, wow. this is after dinner, like 7, 8 o'clock at night, you got the munchies. <laughs> And uh, everybody would pitch in 10, 15 cents each. And there was always one or two kids, never had any money. And you let it go. Um, now, like, the pizza are like $38. Crazy amounts of money. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, but growing, they're still so good, right? Yeah. But growing up in the North End, uh, fabulous place. Uh, because it was small. And, you know, you hear say that everybody knows each other there. Um but that was always a plus. Every time, like, uh, you went out at night or met at the playgrounds, it'd be 10, 15, 20 kids. And, and you yeah, kind of... Yeah, kids hung out outside then. It's yeah. different than it is now. And uh, you, you so also great. hear the term, uh, uh, you grow up fast in the city. And, and I think what they mean by that is, uh, if you say something like stupid, you might get, like, a scuffy... Go ahead, I'll be your model. Go ahead. You can have me... Oh, what'd you do that for, Uncle Nick? Because you deserve. Oh, right. (laughs) Because you said something dumb. So so you didn't have to wait a week uh, to get reprimanded. You knew right away, like, all right, that that. was a stupid remark. I'll never do it again. That's very You'd important. have to wait to see if to what if he was some person's mad at you. If you, you don't text each other, what did that text me? Yes. I, I did he defriend me on Facebook. You just slap it. Do it again, Uncle Nick. So I say something stupid and you go, what? All right, this is called a scuffy. Okay. It's like this. Oh, oh that's a little one, though. That doesn't deserve that reaction. This is a noogie. Right, right. And this is a family one. German haircut. <laughs> my, my father taught me that. Wow. That he learned in Germany as a prisoner of war. Oh, oh, wow, that's a beautiful story. Yeah. That, good <laughs> shit. It, wasn't, it wasn't bamboo shoots on the fingernails, but it's <laughs> it hurt. All right, commercial. But <laughs> well, that, thank you. That was really beautiful. I got more. I know you do. All right. I okay. got an array of slaps. I know. I need a psych nurse. <laughs> Yes, okay, yeah, thank wow. you. Uncle Nicky, I'm going to put this down for a minute. Now, this is Nicole Savino. Hi, everyone. She, she is our cousin, and we love her. And Nicole, you are, uh, tell people what you do for a living. Um, I'm a wound nurse. A wound nurse? What does that mean? So, <laughs> I'm not specialized a wound. specialize in wounds. Um, okay. All skin, you know, it's pretty messy, ooey gooey. Somebody has to do it, right? The best thing about it is we can heal people. That's, that's my favorite thing. <laughs> Oh, oh my God. There's lots of people like you. Oh, my God. All right. Now, what would you say, Nicole, is the biggest? You grew up in the North End, too, because when you were a little girl, Nona Lucha yeah. would, would watch you while your parents were at work, right? Yeah. 
So what would you say is the biggest difference you t- between when your uh, dad grew up, you think, in the North Bend and when you grew up in the North Bend? So for me, it was very different. You know, me and Nani would go on our little adventures and we'd feed the pigeons Rice Krispies and <laughs> we'd go get an ice cream, go to church. <laughs> See, the, um, the things that you do with your Italian yeah. grandma. Yeah. The and, Rice Krispies uh, good for birds. Uh, they, they love them. They, they love them. them. The pigeons were all over it. All right. Um, <laughs> And little little words, and I feel like Dad, you should tell the story because you you were oh, personally the, the, the time we went to the butcher shop. Oh, you can say that to me. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, and uh, the the butcher, um, Paisano Meat Market, and he says uh, he says to the little girl, he says, "Do you speak Italian?" And at that time, I had taught Nicole one word, and Nicole says, "Yes, I know." And she went, "Hey, bacala." <laughs> <laughs> And that's it. At, at that time, uh, bacala is salted, dried, salted cod. Oh, but it's a euphemism for like, yeah, kind of an idiot. Like calling somebody a cucumber. Yeah, like a jadrul. Right. A jadrul. What are you, a jadrul? Yeah. yeah. What are you, bacala? And a this funny... guy's a bacala. Or a jadrul, if you prefer. Yeah, yeah this little kid, that was the word she knew. You know, yeah. Hey, you, what are you, a dry salted cod? Now you're supposed to slap me on the head after that. Yeah. Right. But, hey, what are you, a jadrul? What are you? <laughs> All right. Bacala. Bacala. So what was funny, um, when Nicole was very Just little. Just checking the time. <laughs> Go ahead. Nani uh, babysat her. But come to find out after a couple of weeks, Nicole developed not her language. She developed her, her Nani's language. Okay. She came home once and she told me like, no, touch the butt. <laughs> <laughs> On the dishwasher. <laughs> Just like money. And <laughs> With the finger, right? Yeah. <laughs> so she the gestures and the Italian accent. Wow. Imagine that. And they were probably the same height. <laughs> Donnie's pretty small, but yeah. wow. So um, any other things? Uh, no, it's all, all good memories, I think. You know. How sweet is she? Oh, so yeah. sweet. Yeah. So listen, yeah. if you have a wound, you know where to go. <laughs> All right, so wounded. Listen up. All right, Uncle Nicky Savino, I love you so much. My idol, Nicole okay. Savino, the yeah, most beautiful one. Uncle Nick story. You want to tell an Uncle Nick story? Real quick. When me and you used to go to the bakery with Uncle Nick, you yeah. know what then? He got dessert from whatever meal Donnie was cooking, and uh, he looked like Derek Sanderson. And he said, yeah, yes, he was very and, sexy. And, and the with the, the, the bell bottom. The no, no, we were little, right? And uh, he was just our Uncle Nick, but they would like write like Daddy. Seven, eight, no. Oh seven, no! Seven. What? All the bakery box had some girl's number on. Them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't you know that story. Did you call it? Like the string with the Betty. <laughs> they didn't have nearly a coach. We didn't then. catch that. <laughs> oh, all right. But we noticed. I loved it. But that was their form of texting. Thank you. Yeah. You put it on a box. Be taller than us. Like Kids, you got it very box. lucky now. We had to use boxes to get it done. <laughs> all right. Oh my God. Big hand for Uncle Mickey and Nicole, everybody. I love girls in the pastry shop. It's something. Something about a crowded sugar right. in the air. <laughs> Marisa, thank you so much. All right, we're doing good. I'm just checking the time because I want to get everybody up. We can get people on after that. I have to bring on Ziana Crignali. Come on, Ziana. Ziana, Uncle Mickey, that was beautiful. I love you. And Uncle Mickey has fans in New York. Well, last time we were on the show, many, many fans. Okay, so this is my mother's sister. Hello. Uh, she is, her name is Anna, Anna Crignali. Uh, although when I uh, on my car phone now in the cars, you know you can say call dad or call my sister Carla. I have to go uh, call uh, I go Tiana, but I have to say Crugnail. They don't understand Crugnali, so um, right you have to say it the way that they would mess it up. But Tiana, there's only one Tiana, and she was talking about talking about recipes with Marisa, right? And you said that you have to do that. You have to go, you know, you have to test recipes over and over and over again. Yeah, and you got to. Learning to accept the one that you just made. Yeah. So you be proud. Be proud. Because you did a good job. Yeah. And now, do we, you remember I was saying that when I came, my mother cooked a certain way. You could all make sauce, but it tasted different in every house. Yeah. And you girls are the same way, right? The Roberti girls? Yes. So um, if you went to my mother's, it was lighter because my dad is uh, likes things a little lighter. Um, to Joe's and Tiana's house was like, to Joe's is a Brutese, so it was very meat heavy, which I love. That was like right up my alley. No, no, Liberuccia was a little lighter, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Translucent. Yeah, it was a whole different, almost like a glaze, <laughs> right? And Maurice's mother was uh, from a, a part of the uh, Italy called Gaeta, which is like seafood specialties. So every house you went to, you got a house hop, and you get a completely different Sunday dinner, right? <laughs> now, you the fav- my favorite thing you ever made, I-, I love your roast beef too, though. It's hard to oh, choose, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. Sienna makes good roast beef. <laughs> this is, see, it's true. Yes, she made lasagna. Look, you guys, Tiana's lasagna. This is like serious stuff. So you made one for Nani, you froze it, and one for us here. Thank you so much. And tell us what you put in your lasagna, Tiana. So you make the sauce first. I make the sauce, the meatball. Make the sauce and the meatballs together. Then I prepare the um, I mean, got the cheese. Okay. Put a couple of eggs and. A book of the paper and a book of the salad. <laughs> Salt and pepper. And uh, this together. Then. And then how long do you cook that? Oh, I don't know. 40 minutes? 20 minutes? Depends. <laughs> until it's done. 40 it's... minutes, but I do by hand. I love that. So you see, Italian cooks don't really measure things. You see, she didn't say a cup of uh, regatta, <laughs> two eggs. She said some regatta, a couple of eggs. I, yeah. When it smells good. I take it out. Great. When it smells good, I take it out. Are you listening, American kids? When it smells good, you take it out. That's it. And if it never smells good at your house, don't worry. You have Italian friends. Come over to our house. We will cook for you. Tiana Cugnali, give her a big hand. Oh, my God. Such a wonderful, wonderful person. Oh, my God. Yes, Tiana, let's show that. So look at what she bought. Uh, is this the cutest thing? Red Sox popcorn holder. How cute is that? Have a nice piece of pop- popcorn. I don't know how call. This is delicious. The best popcorn I ever had in this thing. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. That's right. She made more things. Okay, Tiana. Thank you, Rena. Rena is our line producer. Rena Cunella, who is Tiana's daughter. Okay. Oh, my God. First talk about it's Rena. Thank you. I almost forgot. Tiana. Tell us what you made here. Wait, I'm going to put the microphone close to you. Unbelievable. All right, so look at this. First, we have this cake. What is this cake? Oh, you made the lemon pound cake? Schmoopy, zip it. My sister is upstaging. Italian lemons. Italian lemons, okay. Uh, and we made the pound cake. You made that? You want to talk about it? Okay. And you made these little roll-ups. These have, what do they have in them, jam? They're like rugula, guys. If, you, if you've if you ever tried rugula, but it's different. It's a little more powdered sugar and less more, uh, like. More brown sugar and pineapple jelly. Pineapple jelly, brown sugar. And then roll it up. You roll it up? How long you cook that for? Uh, Till they're done. <laughs> Everybody, how long do you cook them for? Till they're done. That's it. Oh, my God. Hey, you know what we haven't said yet? This whole show has been, the name of the segment is... Keep it! You know we do the fat fast food. Uncle Nicky, I'm on, I'm trying to diet. Jeez, man. All right, so, Tiana, these are delicious. We're going to eat. Everybody's been enjoying food, though. We haven't been waiting. Because everybody has to work in the morning. Boston's different than New York. We don't start working at 9, 10 at night. People are like... Rolled up and ready to get up. Gonna continue having a party after. We are. All right. I love you so much. Wait, there's more. Oh, there's more. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, yes, oh, yes. yes I got that. Wait. And then you got this from my favorite bakery. What's it called? The bakery. Lindell's. Lindell's. Lindell's Bakery. Now, this guy's in New Yorkers. This is not a black and white cookie because I know in New York they have black and white cookies. This is more like a cake. With uh, vanilla frosting and chocolate frosting, it's but yeah. only Lindell's bakery in Somerville. Yeah, half and half. Half and half. <laughs> half and half. That's a, a, a broken half English half word. Half. half and half. Half, half and half. half. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, the dance. Yeah. The dance. Oh. 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 Now we got to talk about this. Is very special. June is many things to many people, but to Italians, June thirteenth is what, Tiana? San Dandoni. San Dandoni, Saint Anthony. <laughs> It's his birthday on June 13th. It's a lucky day. For Italians, 13 is lucky. It's not unlucky. So uh, we, what is the spread, Tiana? What's happening here? It's the, 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 the candle. The candle. I bought it for you so you can open it. I can take it? Yeah. It's oh, awesome. my God. Thank you. And what's this beautiful bread? You know, where's your bread? The right bread. here. Anthony found it. Where's your bread? 
Where's my bread? St. Anthony, right here. It's the blessed bread. The blessed bread. And it comes already in the little bags. That's. And it says. You cook that? San Antonio Prego per noi. Oh, San Antonio Prego per noi. And that means St. Anthony, pray for us because we are going to need it. Yeah. That's it. Oh, I have a question. You have a question? You want to come in and ask the yeah, question? Come, come in, Uncle Nick, and ask the question. What, what do we have for time here? <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good time. All right, Uncle Nicky's going to come in and, and add a story. Wait, like, let's both get in frames. You got to come closer. Be in the machine. All right. I don't claim. All right, hold on, lawyer, Hold but... on. Okay. Oh, here, let me get this here. Okay, go ahead, Uncle Nick. What's the uh, St. Anthony story? Well, Looking at the picture of Saint Anthony, he's holding the baby Jesus. Yeah. And Bambino Gesù. <laughs> Serious. I don't start a Bambino Gesù. San Dandoni. It's like a San Dandoni. I don't depend on that. All right. If you understand that, we love you even more. So Saint Anthony's holding the baby Jesus, but I know baby Jesus was born. Uh, what is it? Uh, Way before. Two thousand. 20 years ago, right? Are you questioning St. Anthony? Are you it's a miracle. Yeah, it's, it's, a it's a miracle. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. You don't, you're not questioning Catholicism and it's true. No, wait, hear me out. Um, so he's holding the baby Jesus. Yeah, the baby Jesus is 2,200 years old, uh, yeah. two, 20 years old. And I think St. Anthony was around in uh, uh, 1,200 Middle Ages, I think. He graduated that year from so high, <laughs> Portugal High School. <laughs> it put yeah. Well, we, we're going to run out of time. You get a kit, the punchlines up on the radio. Was it. Oh, that's it? That was it. Oh, all right. All right. So the, the moral of the story is okay. Jesus was older than St. Anthony, but remained the infant child because metaphorically, St. Anthony was guarding. Is that what he think Right. I think he took a picture Jesus with you. <laughs> Oh my God, Gigi, are you going to have to join us on the All right, the girls, the millennials will solve this problem. Thank God. Tiana, everybody, a big round of applause for my Tiana. Tiana! Uncle Nikki. Thank you. And she's going to come to New York. I'm going to make her come to New York and hang out with me and have a show at my apartment. I love you. Love you so much. I think St. Anthony and Jesus would Photoshop. That's all I'm saying. All right. Uncle Nicky just made a claim. Just made a claim that he believes that uh, St. Anthony and Jesus were Photoshopped. This is a very strong claim. I'm hoping maybe some new station can check it out, fact check. Listen, I'm going to need my millennials. You guys are not like your average millennials. You are uh, extraordinary millennials. Please. Uh, Angelica Schlieff and Gia Raskowski, please join us. Please join us. Oh, my God. So this is my – here she is. Get, get in frame, get in frame. So this is my niece and – oh, no, the other way. <laughs> Angelica, and this is my uh, cousin Maurice's daughter, Gia. So she is my second cousin. I love them both. They are very smart girls. So, girls, shed some light on what's happening here, what, what you feel this is happening. So I have two thoughts. Okay, let's just bring your voice up. I have two thoughts. Okay. Um, my Italian thought is that St. Anthony found the baby Jesus. You know, because he's the saint of finding oh, things. Right. Okay. So he just came across. So, like he was taking a, a hike. He was on a hike or something. And also, <laughs> he found the baby Jesus. My my second idea is, I think it's just a baby. I don't think it's Jesus at all. I think that's the oh. historical. Oh, all right. Part so, of it. All right. Yeah. Well, Gia, what do you okay. what did you want to okay. add to this? Because I Gia has things to add. I, I have, like yeah, Gia. Is always thinking. Of things. Okay. Well, I, one. So somebody said that. There is the halo around this baby, hmm. but there's not. It's around Saint Anthony. Yeah. Oh. So oh. this is she's got a little thing, a little criminal, criminal justice, criminal justice. That's all I'm saying. This could be. Yeah. I didn't want to say it before because I was yeah. afraid. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. Isabella, get in frame. This is Jesus. Come on in. Come on. This is Isabella Raskowski. Who we, everybody remembers. Marka Baskets Best. Yes. <laughs> from Marka Baskets. From, uh, wait, wait, this is Isabella, and she was in uh, Christmas at the Raskowski's, which is one of the most watched episodes ever. Did you know that? Playing nice. Playing nice. All right, so now we're talking about, is, let's pull Isabella in on this. So Isabella, there was, there was a question about the authenticity of St. Anthony 
and the baby Jesus, because Uncle Nicky said Matthew. that it was a mystery that uh, the baby Jesus was 2,000 years older than St. Anthony. I never even questioned it. I just, okay. that's what they told me in school. Okay. And I said, okay. I'm going to believe them. It's a, it's, my sister said, it was a miracle. Numeracolo. <laughs> right. All right. So now the, the millennials, though, are wonderful millennials in our family. They're not like your average millennials. Uh, well, I'll just leave it at that. They are very smart and always inquiring minds want to know. So, uh, Isabella, chime in on, on this mystery. Okay. Our, our criminal justice um, uh, expert here, Gia, has told us what she thinks. What do you think? I um, don't know much about Okay, I love that. I love that. I don't know much about what you're talking about, which is the most wonderful, yeah. authentic answer yet. I have another myth. You do? Or another idea. Okay. So, like Angelica said, St. Anthony is about finding lost things. Right. So maybe at one Metaphor- time, Sorry, metaphorically. metaphorically. So maybe at one time, St. Anthony lost his inner child. He had some oh, things wow. going on. This is like Jungian. I love it. He found his inner child. He found his inner wow. child. He found it, and so he carries it around with him, so we never say forget. Anthony, oh, say, well, no, he made me, me come around. Something lost. Who the hell's my inner child? He thinks it's Photoshop. Somebody thinks it's Photoshop. No. Is this supposed to be Jesus? It's, well, that's, that's, that's the baby. mystery. Oh, I don't know. That's Listen, folks, chime in. You think it's really baby Jesus? That's what they told us in college. I think well, is what, is it, what is your audience? What is your audience? audience listen, start chiming in. We'll get some comments. Is this get some comments? Chris DePiro joined us. Chris, what do you think? Is it the baby Jesus? He goes, go Yankees. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 is going, oh, oh, yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Want some rock. popcorn? Chris, I want some popcorn. What a buckala. Oh, very nice. Bring it around. Uncle Mickey to tell us what a buckala. That was good. That was really good. Now, listen, I know you just uh, came back from, uh, you, uh, you went to poetry camp? I went to poetry camp. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty right? impressive. And how was it? Oh, my gosh. So much fun. Yeah. I mean, how could it not be fun, right? How could, right, well, for some people, day, it might be stressful. Living with a bunch of poets, doing poet stuff, doing readings. <laughs> wow. Amazing, meeting poets. One of our family, uh, our Boston 101, and the video uh, ended because I it's think maybe this sometimes... Maybe it was St. Anthony. Maybe. It might be St. Anthony, right? That's what it was. Oh, my God. All right. Did we get every – do you you think Justin wants to say hello? Justin, do you want to say hello? Is he shy? we got to bring up – let's bring on Justin. Stay here, Angelica. Justin is our Greek Greek representative. He is – May I say who he is? You may. Okay, so this is Angelica's uh, boyfriend. Um, uh, is look how he's got the mutton chops and everything going on. Very cool. He's very straight cool. from the '70s. I love that. <laughs> so am I. Well, a little later, but so you, you are also a writer. Am I correct? Yep. And assuming that you are a writer as well. And um, what kind of writing do you prefer? Do you, are you a poet as well, or do you? I do some poetry. I do fiction, plays, nonfiction. But you also teach writing, right? Uh, no, no. I, was I heard that, that somebody was saying that. He was a substitute. He substitute. Oh, he substitutes. All right. So you substitute teach, teach writing, and you did not go to poetry camp. Am I right? I did not. No. It's okay. Not everybody has to. It's not for everybody. No poetry camp. Do you have something to add to the mystery of Saint Anthony? And I the looked big... it up while we were. Oh. <laughs> and what does it say, Justin? Tell us uh, from a, a Greek thought... man's point of view. Originally, actually, real quick, uh, Greek depictions of Jesus is always as a man. Even when he's a baby, so like if you go into our church, he's like has the face of a man. He's always well because okay. it's supposed to be no, that you're not, you're not supposed to depict him as a as, child. As a child. Oh, you mean Jesus? Yeah. Oh, yeah. the Greeks have a whole he's, different. He's, even, he's mature even as a baby. Oh yeah, he was an old soul yeah, even then. Right. Yeah. Okay. But all right, I like that. And you're Greek Orthodox, right? Yeah. Okay, a whole different ball game, guys and girls. Uh, so what I found was that. No one really knows, but it is Jesus, or it's a child that he like saved or something like that. Yeah, okay. But it's actually it's so it's still a yeah. 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 We, It's something we need to believe. Oh, okay. it was supposed to be that. I think I looked it up and said everyone can hold Christ or something like that. Let oh, me, oh, I love that. Can we have a big hand for our millennials? Yeah. Tonight? I love that. Thank you so much, Justin and Angelica. We appreciate your input. All right, so if yeah. This time, if there's one quick Of course, I think, what, did everybody get on? Did we get everybody on? Everybody has kind of been on. 
Uh, Shmoopy, you can return. Now, uh, the, oh, okay. The video did end, but we restarted it. So sometimes that happens. What are you going to do? All right. So go ahead. Tell, tell the story because we're on the St. Anthony trip. All right. Do we have any more food to show? Wait, while we're here, our salad. Small children. I made a delicious salad. All these dildos. No, no, you can't say that. Oh, jeez, I knew it. I knew it. And this was a family show up until then. It was true. Johnny Tamara has joined. You guys would love Johnny Tamara. He reminds me a little bit of Jerry. Okay, they're delicious. So our salad, I have Boston lettuce because it's a Boston show. And then uh, I got these delicious... Uh, uh, pomodoro tre colore, oh. and then a little red onion in there, and nufinocchio. Oh yes, but, you know it's uh, it's good to have nufinocchio. You need a finocchio now and then. Mm. So and that is fennel. Fennel. fennel is very good, but uh, we just call it finocchio. Okay, okay, so what was your what was your theory? My quick. This is a true story. Um, As they August, are. whatever it was, last <laughs> Sunday in August, Saint Anthony's Feast. Yeah, and I we're had talk a charm about the on me that I lost. It was a little lobster, and I lost it in the middle of all the confetti and everything else. And we were like, this is terrible. How can I lose something on St. Anthony's Feast? It's just right. not possible. So Ron Berge really helped me look. I was looking and he just kept picking up little flakes of gold paper and it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't. Uncle Nick got the blower out, cleaning up. And I said, now it's gone. Like, I'll never find it again. A year later to the day, what? Um, I, I was at the feast, but I drove myself in that time with my dad and Angelica. And my husband called me from home and he said, you're not going to believe what I found in my car, your charm. You must have lost it last year when I dropped you off. Wow. So it was found exactly a year later. Oh, my God. Isn't that something? That is on St. Anthony's Feast. So, of course, it wasn't lost. I knew it wasn't lost. So we've done this before as a family, but let's do it again. Let's do the St. Anthony prayer, everybody. St. Anthony, St. Anthony, come around. Something's lost and must be found. Beautiful. So American kids. That's what you That's do. That's what you do when you yeah. lose something. You pray yeah. to Saint Anthony, and Always. I love this. This is spectacular. I think we That's have covered really special every it's angle. It's whatever you want it to be. That we obviously. <laughs> what I always thought was you just loved children so much. I just yeah. saw it as a protective thing, but I yeah. did believe it was the baby Jesus. Just believe. Well, Tiana, how can thank you, you not? Just believe. How can you not? Believe? All right. Thank you so much. All right. We are going to uh, continue our show. Let me. I have to. Right. Since this is a second. This is part two, but that's okay. We got a lot of people that have joined us. Now I'm going to start reading some of the comments that people. Uh, Carrie Friedman has joined us. Linda Carol Gosselin, she's from Stoneham. Ovi Vargas, we went to high school together. Hi, Ovi, how are you? He played huh. Jesus in oh. in Godspell. He was God. just a Christian. Oh, 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 Ovi, oh. what do you think? You think that? I bet he'd have yeah. something to say. I bet you know. Kyle De Blasio has joined us from Jersey. Leo. Rodriguez. Oh. Everybody, let's say that together. Leo, Leo Rodriguez has joined us. That's right. Leo is our accidental intern. He made an amazing. Leo, you see, we got kicked off. I don't know what the hell happened. I thought that was saying anything. Marco yes. D'Amato has joined us, our wonderful oh. friend Marco of Brutzese. Rob Cugnali is back. <laughs> Michelle Souza Cugnali. Michelle, we wish you were here. Uh, Johnny Tomorrow. Johnny from Brooklyn, wonderful guy. Claudia Achera, she's in Boston, but she's from New York. Who else has joined us? Let me see. Jeannie uh, Craigie, she's a Stoneham girl. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah you know, you guys know Jeannie, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's she, town she, moderator. Oh. Wait, wait, Marisa, come up here and tell the yeah. story. <laughs> she's the town moderator. She's yeah, she, she just got elected, right? No, she's been for a little while now. Yeah. She's a very good job. Yeah, okay. Did you hear everybody's raving about you, Jeannie? I didn't yeah. know this. <laughs> The town moderator. Wow. Bob Carr has joined us. Our Bob. Hi, Bob. Bob, Bob is saying my mother. You mother. got to tell the story about Bob Carr. They're going to the, it's the car bar wedding. Oh, in right. Dublin. His daughter, <laughs> Karen, Karen Carr, Carr, married <laughs> Do, uh, Declan Barr. So it's the, it's the car, car bar, bar wedding, wedding. I love in, it. in um, Belfast. In Belfast. How cool is that? You're getting more Irish, Irish than that. Get any more and then than Ryan, that. their son, Ryan watches the show often. He oh, is hi, in Ryan. Florida. We love Ryan. Uh, Frenchie. Frenchie. Where's Frenchie? Frenchie was a little above there, right? Oh, Eric oh. Eve Garcia, our friend Frenchie, Frenchie. has joined us. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me see. Danielle Reddy. Danielle, we wish you were here. She said good looking family. She was supposed to be here, but she has a little bit of a cold. <laughs> How about Russ Woolley. 
All right, Beth Besson and Kim Alvarez, who's out in California but is a huge Red Sox fan. Kim, look what we got. <laughs> Red Sox popcorn. Oh, my God. All right, so we wanted to talk. I wanted, who it feels qualified to come up here and talk about some of the feasts that are going to be happening in the North End? Does anybody know enough about some of the feasts? Well, the 100th year. Re this is the 100th year. I think Rena might have to. All right, Rena, you go. All right, Rena, come back up here. It is, after all, 1919. It, uh, after all, is Rena's house. Rena, do you want to come this way? This is her better side. We have decided. <laughs> well, you know, everybody does that. It's not just Rena. Everybody has a better side, they say. Yeah. Oh, my God. What dessert is this, Rena? Yeah, because we were running out of food. God forbid. Okay, let me put this up. So these are delicious. Who made these cookies? Cora. Cora? Why don't you come and sit here and tell us what's in it? No, they're just... Just little cookies. We'll be the Flour, yeah. eggs, we'll sugar, the that's all. Oh, my God. These are beautiful. Cora always puts on a spread. When you go to Cora's house, there's a spread. Oh, yeah. And that comes out of, like, instantly. Yeah, she goes, like, I'm just like, going to have a I'm couple down. of things. Yeah. Just come by. Don't worry. I go, you want me to bring anything? No, I have a couple of things. And then it's like something out of the Food Network, right? <laughs> yeah, they like, like <laughs> And then she's like, you want me to, I got more in the refrigerator. You want me to, no, no, we got it. Okay, so now, if you are, if you live in Boston, you know that the feast of, uh, we got about 10 minutes. So the feast in the North End are big, big, big thing. Yes. Okay, so they start soon. Have they started yet? No. Um, no, they start to the end, the last weekend of June or the 1st of July. Yes. Okay, and, and what I does that mean remember, to someone that's visiting Boston? What would, should they do? They rotate. So the different societies have them. So oh, there's um, Madonna de la Cava. There's the San Anthony's one. That's the last one of the of the year. In, in, uh, the big one. It in ends in August. In August. Um, there's uh, the, Fisherman's the Fisherman's Feast. The Fisherman's Feast. That's the most famous. It's uh, um, St. Joseph, I think. Madonna de los Socorso. Yeah. Um, then there's the um, San Agrippina. There's San Agrippina. What a name yeah. that is. Yeah. Right, um, what else? and they were all from yeah, different yeah. regions yeah. in Italy. Oh, yeah, oh, San Gennaro. Oh, we have oh, San Gennaro. Oh, oh, because oh. In, in New York they have San Gennaro, yeah. and uh, it's a it's the biggest one in New York. It's like, uh, uh, yeah, it's like our Saint Anthony. There's San Gennaro. Yes, but there's, they started there. Uh, they had a one here. Yeah, created the society here. Wonderful. So there's a Boston San Gennaro, and it's like it just uh, the what the festivals or the feasts are is just wall to wall people. There's all kinds of Italian food, amazing Italian food, and also the, the saint is there, and you can go and pay homage, as they yeah, say. The processions. The processions. Kids. I used to be a procession girl. I carried yeah. the ribbon. I was yeah. a ribbon girl. You too. Yeah. Wow. Sandra, so me too. Me too. When we came from Italy. Right. I was so proud. I love that, Tiana. Me too. It's one of so Saint Rocco. I think is from your region, yeah. right? Which is uh, Abilene, San Nicola. So what? What these Boston Italians did, and I think some of the New York Italians too. But it was a bigger thing in Boston, and maybe in Philly too. Is you you came here from a region in Italy? It's like as if we Americans um, migrated to another country, and like so, you you'd have your Brooklyn people, you'd have your Boston people, you'd have your Philly people. And when we settled in places in other countries, we brought all our cultures with us. And we brought things that we believed in. Um, Ronaldo Crignale. Ron is calling. Listen. Hold on a second. Ron, you're on speakerphone. We're doing our show live. Ronnie, are you there? Hello? Hello? Hello, Ronnie. I want some What? You want some lasagna. You want some lasagna? Well, come over. We're not going to deliver it, lazy. What are you doing? I want some. I need some lasagna. Oh, my yeah. God. Come on, come, on. come on by. Mom come on by. Run out, I'm sure. Of course, give she'll give it to you. With, with a blessing. Tiana will take an Uber over there. Yes, some Tiana will Uber over there. All right, where are you, home? I'm home. All right, he's home. Somebody will deliver lasagna to Ronnie. <laughs> All right, Ronnie. Listen, this is not Grubhub. Come oh here. Oh, my God. Ride. All right, Ronnie. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> wow. That's tough. That's tough. <laughs> we have to bring Ronnie. We've got to bring Ronnie some lasagna. That's what happened. All right. So that's, lasagna what, live, that's right? what the gonna, Italians would do. They would bring their, the their culture and their <laughs> saints, and then they created these amazing festivals. Yeah. So if you're in Boston over the summer, it's usually Friday, Saturday, and Sunday that they run. 
Uh, go to the North End, which yeah. is right near, uh, if, if you don't know where the North End is, it's right near um, um, the TD uh, Center. Is it TD uh, Garden now? Yeah. Where the yeah. Bruins yeah. play in the South. It's right near there. And, yeah. and you can take uh, all the trains there. And it's just really, really, really fun. And the biggest one at the end is the 100th anniversary of St. Anthony. Anthony. Wow. So that is going to be a big one. <laughs> it, it's our family reunion, too. Yeah. I'm going to be there this year. To be there this year. Yay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, really? I, yeah. I got to I got to go. And it's pretty, coincides pretty closely with uh, Nani's, Nani's 100th, 100th yeah. birthday. She's right. Now, our grandmother, Nona Liberuccia, is uh, 99 right now. Yep. And she's going to be 100 on November 5th. We threw her a big party for 99. I'm, I suppose we'll throw her a big We got to, right? She already told me she doesn't want anything, but then she was telling me what <laughs> she, she wanted. She doesn't want anything. At the party that she doesn't want. So, oh, we'll we'll get, so she doesn't want anything, but yeah. at the party she doesn't want, she told you what not to have. Exactly. Right? And okay. she's going to, I'm sure, call you Cora to have her hair done. Yeah, because Cora does her hair. Party that's she not always happen. tells us when, that, when her hair is going to be done. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so there's a lot going on here. Would anybody else, we have about, Five minutes left. Would anybody else like Jeff, Joe? You, you coming up? <laughs> you want to tell that story? You want to tell that story? Well, let's bring I'll let's bring you. them back because we're because wrapping this, up. This is a spiritual story. Oh, it's a spiritual oh. story. All right, my sister's coming back. She's a little shy, but yeah, we've right. talked her into <laughs> now, being on camera. All right, they're back. My father's mother, which you all know, Nana Nicolina, had some gifts, which I used to say, "Oh my God, I think she's a witch," and I loved it because she could like heal you with spells and craziness. I don't know if they were all made up or if they were true, but I always thought she was a witch. Yeah, they used to do spells on us after school as a little kid. So you come home with your book bag and your lunchbox and they're like, put it down. You have a curse on you. Remember that? Oh, it was crazy. It's true. It'd be like, what? What do you mean? Where is it? You didn't know. So they come in, they do the curse. Years ago, my daughter was little. I started seeing these gifts in her. And, and as she's got older, they've gotten stronger and stronger. And I truly believe she's a witch now, too. A witch so, is a good thing in a In a good way, a good witch. No. So, Unless you say strega. No, no, no. 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 So the other day, all kinds of things happened to us, but this was the most recent. The other day, we were in the Cosmo Park Beauty Supply, and I'm just trying to buy stuff for the girls and get in and out of there. I'm not having any fun. And she kept saying, Mom, I feel a ghost. There's a ghost. There's a ghost. I'm like, oh, she's just trying to shop. And so I'm like, all right, all right, we'll leave it. Ghost. But there's a ghost. Ghost. I'm getting the chills. I'm getting the chills. So we go up to the counter and I run my card through and um, the lady goes, oh, you, yeah, European flair, Ricardo, how's he doing? We know each other way back, blah, blah, blah. I said he had appendicitis recently. She goes, oh, well, lucky for him because my boyfriend of 19 years just died last Wednesday and the only place I'm happy is at work. And then she just went, Mom, I told you there was a ghost. Ghost. Yeah. I didn't even put the two and two together. Yeah, yeah. Wow. She, she said the you only place that it. she has peace is in that at, at work. Wow. Yeah, you were there. You know who I'm talking about that. Yeah, she was so nice. Wow. Can you imagine? So we All right, were, so we, we it, know ghosts. It was a normal day for us, but I just thought I'd we, share. We know things. Yeah. The, we, we the Italians of uh, yeah. Boston, things can happen. we know things. Yeah. That's yeah. all I'm going to say. We're, yeah. And, uh, you know, that's from the Savino side. You know that. Rose Abendanza sent me a whole thing. Savino. If you I, I think up, Italians in general. Yeah. Not all Every Italians, so, but the Savinos yeah. especially. Yeah. Now, somebody told me, what's happening here? Oh, who's, that? Some, who's this guy? Somebody, oh, they're clapping, Leo Rodriguez. Uh, so somebody, I, Leo, did Gina come on? I think Gina Savino at some point said hello, but no here. Oh, yes, Gina Savino has joined us, everybody. Yay! Gina Savino. Oh, my God. Gina, we missed you so much, but, you know, they work late on Tuesdays, the wow. girls. Joyce and Gina, they are at Joyce's Unisex Salon, 132 Ferry Street in Everett. Everett, if you're Italian. <laughs> yes, and they probably, no, they're not like Ronnie. They don't want to do You should meet at the Encore, the new Encore. What's yes. the Encore? It's the oh, casino. Oh, you're going tomorrow? Oh, it's it's open. Oh, the Encore Casino. Oh, wow. You guys know about this? Oh, yeah. What yeah. casino? Never you love casinos. Special yeah. invitations. Oh. Who's got a special invitation oh. for? Well, because Billy oh. and my husband were there. Oh, that's oh, why. Because it's not open. So it's the soft opening. Oh, they call the it a soft opening. Yeah. 
All right. Have fun. Ricky's going too. Ricky's going too. Well, okay, so a lot of people are going to be at the encore. Oh, because he works there too. Beautiful. All right, we're just having like discussions here. We just I, <laughs> that's what I love. We just talk. <laughs> so okay. So if you're in Boston, you want to go to Pizza Regina, uh, in the North End. You want to go to Mike's Pastry or Modern Squid Pastry. It, you, Squid Pie for Marisa. We love it. The display. Oh. But it's okay because now we don't need to display it anymore. Enjoy, enjoy. We got Sienna's lasagna here. Delicious. That's really good. We've got a couple eggs. Cook it until it's done. So it smells good. That's but it. Okay. Smells good. And we have salad, and now we, look, everybody's got to work tomorrow morning. So we, we don't want to keep people no. up too late. We do want to tell you we love you. Jimmy, how much time do we have? You think it's streaming? Well, no, sometimes Jimmy. we – He might be off there somewhere. Jimmy, that's all right. We're going to – we usually end up like uh, – yeah, it's about that time. All right, so we want to thank you. I want to introduce everyody again. <clears throat> My sister, Carla Schleif, everybody. Thank you. Tiana, Cunali, Nicole, and Nick Savino. Ron Berge back there. We got uh, Gia Raskowski, Marisa Raskowski, uh, Cora and Rosetta, Roberti, but now they're Gothier and Serino. We got Isabella Raskowski. That, see, that's usually the Marisa's on her daughter's Facebook. And then Rina Cunali. We got... Justin back there. What's Justin's last name? Elaine. Ju Justin Elaine, our Greek representative. <laughs> Ron Berge. And, of course, you know who I am. I am Maria of What's the Story with Maria. This is just part of my crazy family. We love and appreciate you. Come back next week, 9 p.m. Eastern, right here on Facebook Live, Armed Radio Digital, armeddigitalmedia.com, Armed Radio Global. Thank you, Joe Rocks. Thank you, Jimmy Bell. We love and appreciate you. Good night, everybody. Good night. Yeah. Oh, yeah.